Satnam and welcome back. Sincere apologies. So I'm not a professional YouTuber, so obviously these mistakes happened and we just pick up where we left um, with the exercise that prevents headaches and we just start full one minute again. Okay, take your head down, bring your heels together and Let's start the timer, long deep breathing if we are looking over our toes. Now, when we're inhaling and exhaling, we're concentrating on the breath. The eyes are focusing, our trishti will be here, our point of focus will be here, our toes. So inhaling deeply, exhaling full and complete. You might be feeling a challenge on your cervical spine and also on your um, chin, but um, there we go. This is one minute. Okay, relax, come down, breathe deeply, and then I, I have to roll up and change sides. I'm gonna lie down so you can just look at me make a nice pillow so we are going to lie down on our side and really find comfort here so think of this image of that buddha when he's nice and relaxed and we're going for one minute lifting up our left leg and only the left leg and breathing long and deep. So you can close your eyes. Some well-deserved silence here. There we go, relax and just roll on to your tummy and place your hands by your side and look over to your right side and relax here. Creating this exercise so maybe it was good that the video chopped off now we in the a little bit more relaxing part of the sequence Okay, and then come up. So for the next part of uh, our sequence, you can gently bend into your knees. Now try to keep the heels together as you bend. And then everything stays on your mat as we're just holding and pulling gently for one minute. So the head can relax down. 
all the rest of the body stays nice and relaxed long deep breathing so we worked very much with our left side today so we're squeezing in this way our internal organs and we are moving toxins out of the colon and eliminating stress that accumulates in the column long deep breathing new oxygen renewing from inside out okay and release now from here we're taking our fists and just placing them right below and we're gonna lift up in Bhujan Asana. So for my students in my classes I always give a modification so if this is too much you might just have your hands beside you and this would be my modification for today and we're breathing long and deep for one minute here you can find a point of focus or close your eyes okay let's begin breathing creating this opposition between the crown of your head and your toes really not compressing the lower back too strongly so we are creating um, space in our lower back and then back bending always keep this in mind you don't want to go straight into a back bend you always want to create some sort of space in between the vertebras and then you proceed into the bend keep on breathing long and deep 15 more seconds massaging the internal organs squeezing rinsing soaking and refreshing and this is it you can release here good and come down and as a counter pose before we come to sit we are going to come in to a very relaxed child's position okay and then move your body just a little bit just whatever you need come forward and back we can step into a triangle really just bring a little bit of flexibility and realign yourselves so this is important that if you do have those sequences that work especially on one side of the body often we are feeling not in balance and therefore as i say permission to add your favorite counter poses so whatever that might be just do a little bit of um, stretching and moving so often when we um, practice we can feel that parts of our body might be a little bit tight so just do whatever you need to do. You're going to sit now for quite a while, five minutes or longer. And I really like you to be prepared. So again, the practice of yoga asana, practice of yoga asana um, is the way that leads us up to sit pain-free in meditation positions so that can be a rock pose 
for most people easy accessible if you live in Asia or if you have practiced yoga for a long time or it can be a full lotus pose Sukhasana, Sit Asana, so we have many different choices, but um, once we choose the position to sit, our next challenge is coming along. So we are having a few checkpoints. So for example, if you are capable of sitting into a lotus, you really need to be aware of our of your knees and you need to be aware that your knees almost hip height if you feel your knees going all the way up i highly recommend not to sit like so in this case you can just take the right heel toward your growing and let the left heel follow and then again sit and watch your knees now also Depending on your lower back, you might choose to take a pillow underneath your buttock. Um, most important is to find a position that gives you the freedom to maintain still. So once we begin chanting and connecting to the mantra and starting to recite you don't want to find yourself um, recognizing areas that uh, calling out with slight pain or sharp pain so just know your posture and then we begin okay find your posture i will recite the mantra for you this is a, a good chance to learn. I will speak slowly. And again, reset your posture. Sit up straight. It's one straight line so the prana can travel, the kundalini can rise. Roll the shoulders back and create a beautiful triangle. And then engage your awkward neck, your jaw at the bund. And the eyes roll up, the facial muscles relax. And we're beginning to breathe in and out through the nose. The mantra is At Kre Name, Jugat Kre Name, Sat Kre Name, Siri Gurudev Ve Name. So I'm starting the timer now. We're going to chant for five minutes. Inhale, exhale. And inhale to begin. Hat kre name. Sat kre name. And there it is. I'm so sorry. We have to begin again because I mistake. Happen to all of us. Okay. The mind is faster than the words. Let's start again. At kreiname, jugat kreiname, sat kreiname, siri gurude vename. At kreiname, jugat kreiname, sat kreiname, Siri Gurude Vename At Kareiname Jugat Kareiname Sat Kareiname Siri Gurude Vename At Kareiname Jugat Kareiname Sat Kareiname Siri Gurude Vename At Kareiname Jugat Kareiname Sat Krename, Siri Guru Dev Vename. At Krename, Jugat Krename, Sat Krename, Siri Guru Dev Vename. At Krename, Jugat Krename, 
Sakrename Siri Guru Deve Name Atkrename Jugat Krename Sakrename Siri Guru Deve Name Atkrename Jugat Krename Satkrename Siri Guru Deve Name Atkrename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name At Krename Jugat Krename Sat Krename Siri Guru Deve Name Sit in silence and let your mantra silently, verbally recite within. Rolling the eyeballs in between the eyebrows, looking toward the pineal gland, the third eye. Feeling how tension is leaving the physical body and relaxation truly sets in. By all means, take that deep, long inhalation and fully exhale. And just keep Jalada Bandha engaged and your spine long and tall.
this up to exhaling now. position in Shavasana. Take your Gandhi if you have one and your eye cover if you have one and just maintain that relaxation within and come to lie down just for a little. Bring your heels together Arms facing up, shoulder blades roll back, and we're allowing the lower back to relax, life nerve to stretch out, and the back of the shoulder blades to soften. And then really breathing into the toes and the feet, and the back of the feet calves, the shin bones, removing any obstacles that might be beside you in your space and allowing the physical body to really rest, become heavy, melt into the earth. Breathing in deeply. Now allow your knees the upper thighs, the back thighs, hip crease, hips, buttocks, sitting bones to relax. And if you feel cold, you can tuck your shirt in and reset yourself. Take your hands underneath your blankie and slightly roll the fingertips in. It often takes a great deal of time to find that perfect position of surrender and then breathe in again. Now allow the ribcage to deeply softening into your mat. Allow the fingers, the wrist, forearms, the elbows, the upper arms, the collarbones, the shoulder blades, the shoulders to relax and become very heavy. Learning to relax, to integrate, practice relaxation, relaxation, mindful relaxation, mindful breathing to support the physical asana. And then you feel on your next inhalation, exhaling and relaxing the fifth ch chakra. Relaxing the throat, the back of the throat, the ears, the eyes, the nose, back of the head, the forehead, and allowing the sides of the eyes, the tempers, to soften, space between the eyebrows soften. The eyes becoming heavy and rolling back deeply into the sockets. And you can sip open your lips slightly and give you some space in the lead teeth and allow the tongue to become heavy, very heavy. Tongue can relax deeply in the back of your throat. And then feel how heavy you become. Spread awareness, mental awareness through your body. And really feel each and every part. Enveloping in warmth and heaviness. And now detaching the mental body from thought 
but just flipping within. You may continue in the relaxation up to 21 or 40 minutes if time allows. If you have to go on with your day, still keep your eyes closed, but invite one deep long inhalation and start to bring movement to your fingertips, to your toes, to your ankles and to your wrist. Rotate them in both directions. And then exhale, take your arms over your head, interlace your heads. Oh, and stretch yourself long, 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 long. I think we need this. So often when we practice the holding of a posture, our body is uh, tight, so I highly recommend you tonight to take a hot bath with some apple cider vinegar and some Epsom salt to full complete that sequence. Really releasing tension and inducing relaxation. Okay, so bend your right knee now. On the exhalation, draw it toward you and then twisting over to your left side. Nice deep cat stretch. So we really, really worked the internal organs as well today. So everything has been tapped in. Your pancreas, your liver, your colon, your spleen. Everything was really, really rinsed and soaked and washed and then we should really really feel a difference we should feel really refreshed coming out of here okay come back exhale release now deeply inhale and exhale the left knee toward really squeeze toward you might feel the difference because we worked so much on that side and then Deeply cat stretch over to your right side. That feels so good. All right, and then come back to center. First, find center line. You can remove your eye pillow now. And then look up. 
and we're going to take the sole of the feet and the palms and really grounding ourselves back and creating heat it's still so cold in tokyo but spring is just around the corner okay and then well deserved now let's throw the blanket away well deserved doing some spinal rows remember as we started in the beginning so if you like to maintain a useful appearance and also a youthful attitude a childlike attitude you keep on rolling every day up and down up and down so you grow never never really old or you do grow old but you stay forever young okay so you really should feel you should feel good i hope you feel good now to end that sequence again find your perfect your perfect seat and get your spine always maintain that graceful posture so be learning to gracefully sit gracefully walk gracefully eat and sit when we talk so when we're eating as well maintain this upright beautiful position i know all of us find ourselves sometimes hinging over that phone or that laptop now this is our time to remind us we are very graceful people okay let's take the arms up very thankful for this practice and then tuck your chin exhale inhale and then inhale and we end this practice with three long satnams i am my true identity so Satnam. And then open your eyes. So you can maintain just a few minutes here.